Hey everyone, 007 here, welcome to the channel. Today is a quick video about the MAME emulator, a question I see frequently on the forums, throughout the community, and on YouTube. Why do some of my MAME games work, and other games don't run at all? Hopefully we can demonstrate that today, as well as help a few people that may be new to MAME emulation. The MAME emulator is constantly in development and being updated. A new version of MAME is released at the beginning of every month. Each release, a wide range of improvements are made from performance enhancements to new working games or clones. Unlike a lot of other emulators, each time a new version of MAME is released, the ROM or game files can in fact change. The BIOS files that run certain ROMs or games can also change, and there's a number of reasons for that. A better dump of a ROM file is made available, errors exist in previous versions, Newer versions of MAME can have more features than older versions of MAME and require more code to run certain games, and various other reasons. Some ROM files remain unchanged for years, so if you're attempting to use an old ROM set on newer versions of MAME, yes, some games will still work, and other games won't load for the reasons I just mentioned. The ROM file folder structure has changed. The BIOS file to run the ROM may have changed. Sometimes the emulator is looking for more than one file to run a game. So if you're having this trouble, there's an easy way to check with Arcade 64 version of MAME. I use both Arcade 64 and the official release from MAME. The Arcade 64 version has a nice user interface that's easy to understand. This tool in Arcade 64 will not fix your ROM set, but it will show you which ROM and BIOS files are incorrect. In detail, it shows you each incorrect file, plus what's missing or required in order for it to run. So if we open up Arcade 64, assuming we have the emulator pointed to the correct directory for ROMs, and all our BIOS files and CHDs are in that same folder as well. You can go up to Tools here and click Audit All Games. Mine may not show any incorrect here, but I will demonstrate for the purposes of this video just for this video a simulation or example as if I had some missing files or BIOS files or the structure inside of the ROM file had changed from previous versions just as an example. I'll just wait for this to finish. I'll modify a few different my, of my files and then I'll rescan. So I'll just create some incorrect errors here just for the purposes of the, this video and remove some files to show you what a scan would look like. Again, sometimes there's multiple files that are required. 
So this just for the simulation or purposes of this video, just to show you guys. Now I'm going to do a scan and just simulate that I have an incorrect ROM set. And immediately it's going to pick up on all those missing files. And so once you're able to understand that, it's going to tell you which files are missing and why, why those ROMs aren't working. Now to fix your ROM set, I recommend looking up tutorials on CLR MAME Pro. It's a bit more advanced, but there's lots of helpful gamers in the community. Or just grab the latest version of MAME and hook into a new set altogether. With Arcade 64 you could do it manually, so to say, but I would recommend CLR MAME Pro. And hopefully this was helpful to understand why some of your MAME games work and others may not. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave any questions or comments down below. Stay tuned, I'll do my best to record more Hyper Spin and Rocket Launcher setup, launch box, gameplay, and much more. Thanks for watching, have fun gaming.